Obsidian is not the only mindful productivity bidirectional note taker you can use. Of course, there's more. I personally have used Obsidian for a long time, but recently I have switched. I won't tell you right now to which application, but you get the idea. Besides Obsidian, of course, uh, there is uh, a lot of other apps that do bidirectional note taking very well. One of those apps is a not really very popular uh, and is called Workflowy. And Workflowy is one of the first internet outliners that existed and a lot of note-taking and outlining apps have actually copied parts of the interface of Workflowy because it was so good. And so you can use Workflowy also for bidirectional note-taking since they have implemented bidirectional links. And in this video I will show you how to create a basic Workflowy page that you will be able to use later on for your notes. Let's go! Oh, oh, and before we go, uh, if you find this useful, this free lesson is a part of my uh, online course, which is called Personal Work Organization. You can access this course at personalworkorganization.com and the next cohort starts on July 1st. So I invite you to join. Let's create a workflowy page together. A workflowy page is similar to an Obsidian Vault. It's the core of your note-taking process. The difference is that uh, whereas an Obsidian Vault is composed from various text files inside of folders, a Workflowy page is a single text file. In many ways, this is simpler as you have all the high-level information if you look at the whole page, but you can also zoom in as far as you want to see a detailed view of an idea, a problem, or a part of a project you are managing. So here is Workflowy. Uh, Workflowy looks for the first time like you can see here. And we're gonna create uh, a new document inside of Workflowy from scratch. And the new document uh, will serve you later on uh, as a canvas for entering notes. And, uh, and building uh, your database of notes and your personal CRM also. So as you can see, we can click and expand uh, bullets. And you can also expand everything and look, have a bird's eye view on your document. And this is basically the purpose of this first document they serve you. But right now let's delete it and, uh, and start from a blank page. This is our first bullet inside of Workflowy and uh, basically we're gonna type uh, every major heading we will use uh, later on. Each time we will have the need to make subheadings, just press tab and you will be able to, to make subheadings. So let's go. So I'm starting by journal and notes because uh, there is a difference between note taking and journaling. Basically notes are things that you will access uh, uh, based on your needs and uh, it's not related to a date. And a journal is closely related to a date. That is why I have created two bullets separately for journal and notes. The CRM basically is uh, your database of, of people, of contacts to people, uh, their roles, the companies you will encounter in your life uh, and in your work, places, meetings, things, roles, ideas. So uh, this is just uh, a sorting list. Uh, family is of course for family, home is uh, basically to have contacts for important contractors for your home and things and appliances you use inside of your home, so basically the dishwasher will be under things and appliances. Finance is for money, insurance, insurance, tax, receipts and links. And that's it. And in order to have a document that is really readable uh, with time, because it will draw with information underneath those bullets, I like to add emojis uh, at the beginning of each bullet. And I take them either from the uh, em emoji keyboard on Mac or from the website uh, Emojipedia. 
And you can copy and paste emojis from there. And if it's still not readable enough, uh, I would suggest using bold or uh, highlights in order to separate sections you will access on daily basis or very often. And voila, this is uh, our structure. Now let's make it bold. And maybe add some highlights. This will be yellow. This will be blue. And so on. And it's ready. Thank you for watching and visit www.personalworkorganization.com for more. Bye!